Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have x squared minus x to the power x equals 1 and we're going to be looking for x values. I'm also going to show you a graph at the end. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and ln both sides, the natural log of both sides, ln x squared minus x to the power x equals natural log of 1 which is equal to 0. Now by using properties of logs we can go ahead and bring this down and we get x times natural log of x squared minus x equals 0. And from here we get the following x can be 0 or this can be 0. If x is 0, we run, we run into a problem because 0 to the power 0 does not equal 1. So x equals 0 is not going to be accepted. So we're going to go with the other solutions. Natural log of x squared minus x equals 0. Since we have the log function here, we kind of need a domain. So x squared minus x needs to be greater than 0. But at the same time, x squared minus x must be 1 because if you do e to the power both sides like this and like that e to the power ln something is going to be something and e to the power 0 is going to be 1 and this gives us beautiful solutions let's go ahead and solve it by using the quadratic formula let's put everything on the same side and then we're going to use the quadratic formula quadratic formula gives us negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus plus 4, divided by 2. And that is equal to negative 1, plus minus square root of 5 over 2. So it looks like there are two solutions. And are they both valid? Let's go ahead and check. Notice that we had to assume for real solutions, x squared minus x is greater than 0. But when x squared minus x equals 1, it's automatically greater than 0 because 1 is greater than 0. So, both of these solutions are going to satisfy the domain. So, x equals negative 1 plus root 5 over 2, and then x equals negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. So, are those the only solutions? Are there any complex solutions? Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. We said that 0 is not going to work because 0 to the power 0 is, is not... Uh, a determinate form or we can call it indeterminate I guess so how can what else can we look at so let's rewrite the original problem without the ln because ln sometimes will restrict the domain and if you look at the original normally the exponential function is not defined when the base is negative uh, but if you are looking for integer solutions that's a different story such as negative 1 to an even power can also be positive one, right? Okay, let's see what happens. So, can x squared minus x be negative one? Why not? Let's put one on the left hand side. And guess what? This doesn't give you any real solutions. So there are no real solutions to this equation. This, this equation must be familiar to you, by the way, if you dealt with sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes. Remember, we use this, um, to simplify polynomials or to solve higher degree equations. Okay, so this equation has no real solutions, so the solutions are complex. Let's find them. x equals negative b, same way, plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Let's go ahead and do it mentally this time. 1 minus 4, that's a negative 3, which gives us square root of 3 times the i complex or the imaginary unit. Divide by 2. So these are the solutions. Uh, obviously, you can also write these uh, using Euler's formula as x equals e to the power i pi over 3 or x equals e to the power i times 5 pi over 3. You could also write it as 5i pi over 3, but I just wanted to emphasize the fact that here i uh, is going to be multiplied by the angle, uh, the, you know, the positive angle which um, the number makes with the x-axis on the unit circle. Okay, so now we have these situations. So we assume that, okay, what if the base is one? So I have something like this now. If the base is negative one, then X is gonna be a complex number. So can we get something like negative one to the power e to the power i pi over three equals one? 
you're not going to get any complex solutions from here. You could write negative 1 as a complex number. You can L on both sides. And you're going to see that this is not going to work, right? So let's go ahead and later on in another video, we're going to look at a complex number to the power of a complex number. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick and we'll just finish up with that. And here's the graph of y equals x squared minus x to the power x and its intersection with the horizontal line y equals 1. So we're basically trying to solve the original equation by using two graphs. And you can see two intersection points here. Uh, obviously, 0, 1 is not going to be an intersection point. It's supposed to be open, but Desmos doesn't show that. And you can see the x values here, 1 plus root 5 over 2. And do you smell the golden ratio? Hopefully you do. And 1 minus root 5 over 2. So those are going to be the solution. And notice that between 0 and 1, our function is not well defined because exponential function does not like negative base. So when x squared minus x is negative, which means x is between 0 and 1, then we run into problems in the real world. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.